you're not going to believe this, but there is, in fact, a Diddy and Michael Jackson connection. To be honest, I'm kind of terrified. I think this is gonna be the last day that I cover it because we're getting close to something that is very dangerous. It's been 15 years since the King of Pop Michael Jackson's has tragically ended, and it looks like we're getting closer to learning the true story behind his sudden demise. Candace Owens has recently set the internet ablaze with her latest bombshell claims in a recent explosive episode of her podcast, claiming that Diddy may be connected to this tragedy. Diddy and his ongoing legal woes has been the center of attention of months now, but what caught Owens' attention is the dark conspiracy spun around it. She suggested a sinister connection between Diddy's current troubles and the tragic demise of the King of Pop. According to her, there's a whole network operating within the heart of Hollywood, pulling the strings and controlling artists behind closed doors. That there is allegedly some sort of a blackmail ring that is operating throughout Hollywood and that artists that are producing music are actually being controlled. Now, this is the first time when the music mogul is being linked to this mysterious case. And it could have stayed deeply hidden if Owens didn't question the media's deafening silence on Diddy's lawsuits. This case is arguably bigger than the Jeffrey Epstein case, and yet the media is silent on it. Why? Terrifying to consider. But Hollywood and our politicians are being blackmailed into compliance. And if you thought things couldn't get any weirder, think again. Owens dropped a bombshell tweet alleging that the CIA and the MAD were involved in some sort of blackmail ring. And she didn't stop at tweets. She even connected the dots between Diddy's security and Michael Jackson's untimely demise. It is a fact, by the way, that Michael Jackson did keep a list of people in the industry that he said were his enemies. According to Owens, it's not just about legal battles and celebrity gossip, it's about power. For decades, Diddy has been perceived as the king of power who could easily make or break careers and maybe even live. Owens warned her spectators of extreme measures being taken to protect the interests of the industry elite, hinting at a conspiracy where no one in Hollywood is safe. It is dark, but we now know that both politicians and celebrities are being blackmailed. These claims spread like wildfire across social media. And while the whole scandal rotating around Diddy Shady's dealing seems to settle down, Owens brought the his shadowy world into the spotlight like never before. You see, the news of MJ's sudden passing has rocked the world back in 2009. While fans mourned the loss of their king of pop, the whispers about the nature of his demise filled the streets of Tinseltown. Plain white body bag, Jackson was transported into the care of the Los Angeles coroner. He will establish. In a stunning twist, Jackson's own daughter Paris publicly voiced her suspicions that her father had been unalived. She was the first one ever to voice such a thing. According to her, his demise was a setup, and it was actually a well-hidden secret that the industry swore to keep because it's obvious. All arrows point to that. It sounds like a total conspiracy theory, but all real fans and everybody in the family knows it. It was a setup. Now, if you think who wanted to get rid of MG, it's not like Diddy comes to mind first, right? Sean Combs was busy at that time. Combs was busy at that time commercializing rap and building a vast empire spanning fashion, media, liquor, and more. But here's the thing. Owens believes there's a sinister agenda at play, one that aims to protect high-profile individuals from scrutiny and accountability, and Diddy remains the most protected figure among all. I think they have you asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. His determination to build an empire so big can be seen in a clip from his 2017 documentary, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. That shows a different side of Combs, a man determined to get whatever he wants. Yet, these recent accusations of essay and horrible mistreatment of many artists that we've learned in the past months have cast a shadow over his assertiveness, suggesting a potentially aggressive and domineering disposition. The lawsuits filed over the past few months present a stark contrast to the image of the ultimate hustler. A timeline spanning three decades full of civil suits, troubling history, alleged violent behavior, and influence of power only showed that Diddy wouldn't stop until he gets what he wants. I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! While the filings against him are bigger than Manhattan skyscrapers, it still feels like absolutely no one is doing a thing to investigate his crimes. As one person mentioned on social media, P. Diddy should be in prison for all the stuff he did to people. And another user added, Diddy is a demon that came from hell in order to get people to sell their souls for a successful career. And if you check the stories that Diddy's victims share, I mean, that looks like enough to land him next to his pal R. Kelly, who's doing the time for the similar deeds. But here's the thing. As Owen suggests, even government is covering for the music mogul. And that's why it's almost impossible to trace his connections to high-profile M cases. In the Diddy lawsuit was that the media and the authorities are complicit. So the ring has real power. The storm of allegations against Sean Diddy Combs continued to intensify throughout the latter part of 2023 and into early 2024. While some alleged victims of his misdemeanor like Tupac or Biggie Smalls are silenced forever and can't say anything, the voices of survivors are getting louder. Could it be that MJ was one of them? His daughter Paris definitely believes so. 
As she revealed in her interviews, she and MJ were actually really close, and he used to share all his honest thoughts with Herm, even about his struggles and how the world has been treating him. He would drop hints about people being out to get him. And at some point, he was like, they're gonna unalive me one day. And if you wonder how all that ties to Diddy, well, it's actually connected to his most recent lawsuit, which the music producer Lil Rod filed against him. The man threw in some shady accusations about Diddy covering the shooting. Nobody was ever found in the shooting. According to Lil Rod lawsuit, documents against P. Diddy Fahim Muhammad, referred to as Mr. Muhammad, was the head of his security team. Mr. Muhammad had the power to make problems and people disappear. He also had connections within law enforcement, and Diddy instructed his staff to always contact this man if they are ever pulled over by the police. But here's when it ties to one story, folks. The very same man is said to had previously worked as the chief of security for Michael Jackson before his passing. But you know, the most shady part of the whole thing? In 2009, this man was 21 years old, too young to be hired as head of security for the most famous person in the world. Who, before working for Diddy, was the head of security for Michael Jackson when he was only 21. Diddy is known for having his loyal people everywhere. This is how it's believed he was able to successfully finish off two Pac and Biggie Smalls, one of the most credible versions that the man hired a hitman among the gang members to get rid of those stars. He remained untouchable for more than two decades, spreading terror on both costs. However, the legal troubles for him have recently escalated. First, his ex Cassie slapped him with a lawsuit, but it all really went down for him when his music producer Lil Rod filed a bombshell lawsuit exposing names and associates guilty on Diddy's crimes, including some well-known celeb and even Diddy's own sons. The allegations are horrific, and if you include not only Sean Diddy Combs. The upcoming biopic on the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, which releases in theaters on April 18, 2025 May, are still at the production stage. But it may seem like we will a juicy addition to the story once the truth about Mages Demise comes out. As insiders reveal, the biopic will paint Jackson as the innocent victim of a sinister conspiracy with Diddy possibly in the center. Matt Baloney of Puck Magazine has unearthed shocking revelations from the script, suggesting that the film aims to whitewash Jackson's controversial past, downplaying allegations of essay and portraying him as a pawn in a game of greed and manipulation orchestrated by scheming industry elites. Apparently, his demise was planned after the pop star was cleared of all charges in his essay case in 2005. Uh, they brought charges against Michael Jackson with the wrong uh, accuser. Is that what you're saying? The young boy? That's absolutely what I'm saying. Although they tried to portray him as a monster, the jury found MJ not guilty. And as one insider claimed, the elites weren't happy with how the trial went. They claimed that the members of the secret society moved ahead with plans to get rid of the superstar after the trial failed to go their way. They knew Michael loved children and the machine always attacks its targets through what they love. Well, when it comes to sudden and mysterious demises, no one can do it better than Diddy. He has a lot of innocent blood on his hands and it may seem like his connection to Medj's suspicious passing away was been discovered as well. As one person commented, Diddy is didding its deeds for a long time now. 20 eyes and counting same as Epstein, R, Kelly, and Co. And another user added, it's easier to control the narrative when someone is dead and it's hard to control the narrative when they're alive. It may just be that the stories of Diddy and MJ are intertwined and we've got another high profile demise that the music mogul must bid the time for. But folks, what do you think about all this? Could Candace Owens be right in her theory? And did Diddy actually unalive the king of pop? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos